Hey guys, so I was wandering around the aisles of CVS the other day and came across a brand new beauty brand at CVS and it is the Cream Shop. I have a whole bunch of products in front of me from the Cream Shop to try out. So if you guys are curious to find out more about this, hear prices and see what I think, then just keep watching. Okay, so the Cream Shop is an entire display, brand new to CVS's near me. I've never tried it. I've never even heard of this brand. So they have BB creams, foundations, highlight powders, liquid highlights, Christian bronzers, Christian highlights, setting powders, brow products, liquid lipsticks, lip pencils. I believe I saw eyeliners. They have everything you can think of. So they weren't fully stocked at the time that I purchased my items. So I went ahead and just purchased some like base face products that I feel like are a good judge of how this brand is going to work. So they were out of a lot of the shades of the butter, uh, the cushion bronzers. They were out of a lot of the highlights. They were out of some of the blush products. So I picked up a BB cream, but it says full coverage. I picked up a full coverage concealer called Cover Story. And I picked up their Moon Dust Universal Setting Powder in Translucent. The packaging is really cute. So we'll give these three a try. So let's jump right in with this BB cream. There were about five or six shades. I picked up the shade light. Fair looked too light, just based on the color of the box. Um, this says full coverage, hydration, age defense, and SPF of 30, made in Korea. Conceals imperfections without thickness or heaviness of traditional foundation. Moisturizing formula reveals healthy, glowing complexion. Anti-aging ingredients help diminish appearance of lines, wrinkles, and dark spots, and protects against harmful UVA and UVB rays. It is paraben-free, dermatologist-tested, and cruelty-free. Excellent. It says apply by hand, brush, or sponge. Build for stronger coverage. Okay. Sounds good. And it does have an expiration. Best by May 2021, which is nice. Inside, this is what the packaging looks like. I should probably mention prices too as I go along. This BB cream originally was $17.99, which is not cheap for the drugstore. It's more like Revlon prices. So let me see what this color looks like on my hand. I feel like that's gonna be a pretty good color. Yeah, that, we can make that work. So I'm gonna start off with my Real Techniques sponge and then I'll go in with a brush on the other side. Okay, this is calling itself a full coverage BB cream. That's far from full coverage. You can see my active breakout here, here, here. I tried a new foundation yesterday that wreaked havoc with my skin, so I will not be trying that one again. Um, but I thought a BB cream with all these benefits would be nice for my skin. I'm saying this is more like light coverage with a sponge. Let me see if it'll build up at all. The color is perfect for me. This light shade is perfect for my skin tone, um, but I'm not getting really much coverage. It does say BB cream, but it had full coverage written right on it. So let's see if I have better luck with the brush side. Okay, I'm getting much better coverage applying it with this Real Techniques buffing brush. Um, I don't generally apply foundations with a brush that's this loose, but this applied it beautifully. You can kind of see it covered the acne scar over here. I mean, it didn't cover the blue bags under my eyes, but I didn't expect it to, so let me try a second layer with the brush. Okay, that settles it. The brush is the way to go. So let me finish up the face so that this looks even and flawless. Okay, so the BB cream is on. It's very, very shiny. Like, I am glistening everywhere here. 
not glittery, just very, very dewy, like ridiculously dewy. I'm not sure if you guys can see it because the light's dispersed, but I mean, look right here. I have no highlight or anything else on, but I'm just very, very shiny. I would definitely need to powder this. Makes me wonder how this will last on my combination skin because I do get oily in the center and then kind of dry around the perimeter. So we will see how this works. Just making my pores look humongous. Like it looks like I have giant craterous pores all over my chin. I don't know about this. Not loving it so far. Let me zoom in and give you guys a close up. Can you guys see the large pores here that I'm talking about? It just looks really bumpy. All right, let's move on to the concealer. The concealer was $11.99, so $12. They had, I wanna say again, about five shades. I picked up Fair because the light looked a little too dark for under eye concealing. This says it's a full coverage concealer. It says buildable formula conceals dark circles, discolorations, and uneven skin tone, doesn't cake. The cream shop is not a bakery. Magic wand application. <laughs> and the front says peekaboo. It looks like it leaked in the package or else someone messed with it. Let me see if I can clean this up here. Okay, well that's a thumbs down for the packaging. Let's see what kind of packaging this is. Okay, so it's a doe foot wand and like a squeezy tube bottom. But as you can see, mine already leaked and it's brand new. So let's see. All right, that's the shade. It looks pretty good. It looks like the BB cream does oxidize a bit. It got a bit darker on my hand. So let's try this. And as always, I'm gonna use a sponge. I don't know about you, but this is not full coverage. I still see blue right through. I can still see my acne scar. I mean, in the light, maybe it looks like it's covering, but it is not. Okay, it says not cakey. It's already kind of gathering right here in the area underneath my eye. I feel like it just made my under eyes look more greenish blue than they did before. It didn't really cover. Okay, I'm gonna say that that concealer is a thumbs down for me. So let's move on to setting powder. This box is just really cute. It says the Cream Shop Moon Dust and it's like a holographic moon on the cover with an astronaut, I don't know. It says translucent lightweight powder eliminates shine and streaks for an airbrush finish. Apply with a brush or powder puff as a final step to set and hold face makeup for up to 12 hours. Again, cruelty free, not tested on animals. Let the dust settle, it says. Save the best for last. The cream shop with a little astronaut on it. This reminds me a lot of like the Wet n Wild loose highlighter packaging. How nice it has the little, it has the lid that comes down to keep the powder intact when it's closed so the powder can't puff out while it's sealed. I like that. It does have some color to it, which I appreciate. It's not completely white. Okay, that looks nice. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques powder brush, just kind of dip in to the little well here, tap off and try one side of the face. Okay, so this side still has the glow. It hasn't been set. This side's been modified. Let me look at it up close. Okay, with the powder, it does look a lot smoother. It did kind of fill in some of the bumps that I was seeing before, not quite all of them. I don't believe that it changed the color, so let me hop off to a flash test, and I'll post the picture right here for you. 
Okay, so I didn't notice any significant difference between the two sides, so I think it passes the flashback test. So I'm going to finish powdering the rest of my face, and I'll be back to give you my first impressions of these products. Okay, so my face is powdered down. Now let me give you my first impressions of these products. The BB cream, the claims. Full coverage, I would say no, it is not full coverage. It's more like a light to possibly medium coverage. Hydrating definitely is hydrating, very dewy, very fresh looking. Age defense, I won't know unless I wear this over and over consistently. And then SPF, I'm, I'm gonna trust them on that because it's middle of winter and I'm not going outside to see if it protects me from the sun. Um, but I like that it is paraben free and cruelty free, so that is nice. I like that it has an expiration on the box, but not on the actual packaging. Oh well, can't win them all, right? Um, I would not wear this by itself without powdering because it was so dewy, so fresh, so glowy. It's just a little bit too much for me and I felt like it kind of showed all the pores on my jaw area, which was strange. But once it's powdered, I feel like it looks pretty nice. It feels nice on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, so I'm gonna say that if you're looking for a hydrating, dewy BB cream with like mild coverage, you might enjoy this. This product hasn't sold me completely, but I'm still gonna continue to use it. So that's my impression of the BB cream. The concealer right off the bat, the packaging was faulty because it leaked out before I even got it out of the box. Um, I don't think this gives you much coverage at all. It says full coverage. I would say that that is not accurate. If you, if you want full coverage from the drugstore, I would say go with the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer. I think this one is excellent. It's a new find of mine, um, but the cover story full coverage concealer is a definite pass for me. Save your money. And finally, the Moon Dust Setting Powder. I like the packaging. I like that it has that indentation in the lid to prevent it from spilling out. I think that's really nice. This powder was $13.99. I think I forgot to mention the price of that. So not too bad for a translucent setting powder. You do get 0.28 ounces or eight grams of powder in here. I feel like that's pretty par for the course. Um, I like that it has a little bit of color. It's not completely white. It doesn't have flashback. It feels really nice on the skin, so I'm definitely gonna continue to use this one. I'm not like blown away, like my skin doesn't look airbrushed, but it doesn't look bad. So I'm going to continue to use these two, but the concealer is a fail for me. So if you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up from the cream shop at CVS, new brand at the drugstore, always exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.